Okay, so this is a tiger shark. Now this is a very small one. You gotta remember these guys will grow to like 15 to 18 feet long. And uh, this guy's about four and a half or five feet long. It's not usually too difficult to identify a tiger shark, particularly when they're young like this. You can see these crazy kind of the tiger-like markings on the side. The important thing to remember is when they get large, these markings will often fade. So you cannot always use this as an identification. One thing if you notice with the tiger, he's got a big blunt head, very broad up here, and he tapers down very small. Also look at the tail here, very long and thin and pointed. Okay, this is one way you can sometimes identify them just when they're on the surface. If you see that long whippy tail sort of up on the top, you have an idea that it might be a tiger. And also small pectoral fins here on the sides, pretty small dorsal fin. One of the most distinguishing characteristics about the, uh, a tiger shark is the teeth. If you have an opportunity to come in here and look at the teeth, you see that they're hooked to the side. They don't come down and like, uh, they're not triangular like most sharks. They're long and thin. They, they come down and hook to the side. Okay, that's pretty much unique among the tiger sharks. Also, small gills here, but primarily from the top, as you can see, it's got a big broad head here. It is a ridgeback shark, so it's got the ridge not only uh, behind the dorsal, first dorsal, but also in front of the first dorsal. Okay, so this is your average tiger shark here. He's ready to go home. And they also have a very large mouth.